Hello everyone, this is Santesh Kalada and today in this video I'll be showing you how you can automatically save your Gmail attachments to Google Drive. This way you can make sure that you'll never ever miss your attachment. So how this program works is it will automatically check your Gmail every one minute to see if there is a new email and if a new email comes it will check if there is actually an attachment and if there is an attachment it will download that attachment and save it in your Google Drive. Uh, I know that there are very similar videos on YouTube which shows you the exact same thing. But one mistake or uh, one shortcoming that I have found in these videos is that it all works assuming that you only have one attachment. Yes, all those YouTube videos, all those workflows works if there is only one attachment. But if you are sending two or three files, then these workflows crash. So in this video, I'll show you like how you can handle multiple attachments and save it in your Google Drive. First of all, let me just quickly show you how it works. I'll just show you my Gmail account. See here. I have a, I have sent a test email with two attachments. Now let us run this workflow and see. See, this is my Gmail attachment folder, a folder that I have created in my Google Drive. So at present it is empty. So I'll click on test workflow. It has finished executing. Now let us go to our Gmail attachment. I'll just refresh. See, yeah, both these files got added here. Okay. And the thing is that, see, I have named it in such a way that the original file name, then the email address of the, from address of the sender and the date. So this way, like in future also, like it will help you to find the email that organize the file. Now let me quickly explain to you how it works. First, we are using a Gmail trigger. To use this email trigger, all you have to do is just search for Gmail and here you have an option called trigger. Okay, You just have to select it. So once that is selected, you need to make sure that you have your Gmail account connected to NATN. So it's a very straightforward process. So just click on this create new credentials and the exact steps on how to do this is given here. Anyway, I have actually prepared another video where I show you the step-by-step -step process using which you can connect your Gmail account to n So please make sure that you are following that. Once you have the client ID and client secret, just add it here and connect it. Connect your Gmail account. In my case, I have already connected my account and poll times means basically like how often it should work. So I have uh, set it up in such a way that it will run every one minute. And here under options, you have to see, you have to add this download attachments option. If it is simplify, you won't be able to see that option. So just untick the simplify option and here click on download attachment. So that is what basically we do in the Gmail trigger. And next is actually a code because I didn't find any native option in N810 to check if there is actually an attachment. So this is a code note. So I'll, I'll actually give you this particular JSON file of this workflow so that you don't have to like get the codes at all. Like if I'll give you the exact same workflow and it will be available in my school community, which is absolutely free to join. So you can join the school community. You can get this workflow totally free. And after that, you can just go to N810 and see here, just click here and you have an option called import from file. Click here and import the file which you are downloaded from my school community. So everything will be added. You just have to do the configurations. So here basically this particular code note, it checks whether there is an attachment in the previous email. And if there is an attachment, what I'm doing is I have added an if node, which basically checks if there is an attachment. And if there is an attachment, it will go to a Gmail node, say basic Gmail node, email, and there is something known as get a message. That is what I have used here, get a message. And as for the ID, like from a, in the first node, see in the Gmail trigger, if you check at the JSON, you can see the ID here. We are using this particular ID, just drag and drop it here. So this will actually get that message. And again, please make sure that you untick the simplify option and here add the attachments and click on select the option download attachments. Only then it will download the files. And next, again, it's a bit technical. Only thing is, it's, it's, see, this particular Gmail node, it only outputs one item. If I check the output, see, even if there is two attachments, it is given as a single item. So in our Google Drive, we have to upload it as two different files. So what we are doing is we are using a code node, 
which will convert the single item into like two or three like how many ever like how much attachment you have it will convert into that many items so that each single file can be uploaded to google drive okay so that is basically what what this code node does again please do not worry like i'll give you the exact same workflow all you have to do is just import this into your n810 and get started and next what it does is we use google drive this particular note google drive and under google drive we have an option called upload a file that is what we are using and here we select and the, the input data field name it will be data and file name i have named it in such a way that the original file name then the from address and from the e the email date okay so this way i can make sure that i'll never ever miss like any attachments and i can always sort it using the from address i can just search for the attachment just using the the email address of the from the email address from the from field as you can see this is basically how it works so this particular automation it saves all your attachments into your google drive in a folder which you specify okay this way you can make sure that you are never ever missing an attachment okay even fu future also if you mistake if you mistakenly delete the email also you will never ever miss that particular attachment so i hope you found this video useful anyway as i told you this particular automation or this particular workflow it is available for free in my school community you can join the community for free and you can get this template and if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer your questions thank you and have a great day